Good morning children. Today we are going to deal with prefix and suffix. Okay. So let us see what is prefix and what are suffix. These are used to make new words. Okay. There are already existing words. If you add a prefix or suffix, it will be made a new word. And where do we use? Probably it makes a new word and also it makes antonyms for some words. What are antonyms? Opposites. Okay. So, why do we use prefix and suffix? To make new words and sometimes to make antonyms. Pre. Pre means before the root word. Already a word will be given. Before if you add a word that is pre. You are fixing a word so that it makes a new word. Suffix. Suffix means adding a word after the root word. Okay. Adding a word after the root word. For examples, I will give you some. Wonder. Wonder is a root word. You add full suffix. So, it makes wonderful. Happy is a root word. You add un. Unhappy. It is an Antonym, happy, unhappy. Similarly, like, dislike. Child, childhood. Okay, so this way you can make more new words by adding prefix and suffix. I will give you some of the prefix and suffix words so that you can try it for many new words. Okay, so ship, hood, an, after, Less, full, meant, im. These are all some of the prefix and suffix words. So that you can make as many words as possible to make new words and also to make antonyms. Okay children. Now let us enter into determiners. Let, let us enter into determiners. What are determiner? Determiners are words that are used before a noun. Before the noun we place a determiner. A determiner describes the noun and functions like an adjective. Okay. So why we use determiner? Determiner indicates us the arrival of a noun and adjective what is an adjective the description of a noun what is an adjective the description or the quality of a noun we can say from this picture you can understand there are many flowers in the bunch flowers is a noun isn't it before the noun what is there many so many is a determiner how many flowers Many flowers. Only a few are fresh. Few is a determiner. Similarly, there are some biscuits in the plate. Biscuits. Now, some is the determiner. Are there any mangoes in the basket? Here it is a question. Okay. Are there any mangoes in the basket? Mangoes. Now, any determiner. No. No. There aren't, but there are some guavas. So, guavas, noun, some, determiner. Okay, so we have to place the determiner before the noun. And we will have the confusion how to place this determiner. Which determiner we have to use? Okay, so I will give you some small tips. Some, S-O-M-E, some is this determiner you can use to express quantity, amount, okay, quantity in affirmative, interrogative sentences. If there is an affirmative sentence or interrogative sentence and command or request, there you can place the determiner some. Any, any is a determiner. Where do you use any? Just now we saw in the example, an interrogative. 
express quantity in negative sentence or interrogative sentence if in a question sentence or a negative sentence you can yeah, use the determiner any and few we saw one more determiner here few where do we use few few can be used in the place where there are not many not many means you can use the determiner few a few where do you use a few in the place of some less quantity there we can use a few the few where do you use the few the few can be used where not many but all not more not many but everything all there we can use the determiner few okay children see exercises are given in page number 96 in your text you can try using the determiner